All right, everyone. So here we're going to learn about um, Adobe Illustrator. So we can take a quick tour of these items and we'll come back to what these are later on in the class. But we have the two arrows. This is called the um, selection tool and this is the direct selection tool. But I just refer to them as the black arrow and the white arrow. You can see that underneath there are a couple of other additional items that are um, available for the white arrow. You've got the pen tool. We'll get into this in much more depth in another class. There are a bunch of other options with the pen tool as well as the curve tool. You've got your simple shapes right here, your brush and blob brush tool and pencil tool, text tool, rotation tool. There's a few other things that sort of modify your objects or shapes in here. You've got your eraser tool and scissor tool, your shape um, blending tool, your gradients tool and gradient mesh tool, eyedropper, this is the line weight, this is the, um, this is actually the blending tool, this is the shape builder tool, excuse me, uh, artboard tool, and uh, zoom. And once again, zoom you can do by command plus and command minus, we won't do this. You'll also notice that down here we have our fill and our stroke. Unlike Photoshop, which has the foreground and background color, the fill, um, our shapes that we have, are basically made up of three different things. Our fill, our stroke, and then we have the whole object itself. So you have the ability to select which of these two um, you're going to mess with by clicking on those two items. Then we have drawing modes, which we aren't getting into too much, and then you can change your screen mode, and you can edit your toolbar. Speaking of toolbars, um, I'm actually going to use a slightly different window layout and you can change that by going up to workspace and going from essentials to essentials classic. I just think that this one's a little bit better uh, the way that they have things set out. There's just a few more things here. We'll talk about what these different things are as we get further into the class. Um, the big ones here that this brings up are the ability to control the stroke, your gradient and your transparencies, which are really nice. Anyway, let's get into